Welcome to another episode of the Just Seen Review. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jasine and I do reviews of products, services, and experiences with a little bit of vlogging and lifestyle content sprinkled in. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing a quick review of an Airbnb that I stayed at in St. Anne, Jamaica. I recently hosted a friend of mine and his family on the North Coast for his mom's birthday. It was the perfect location for me to stay, very close to Ocho Rios and approximately an hour away from Montego Bay. The drive from Kingston takes roughly 1 hour and 20 minutes. Before we get into the details, please remember to subscribe to this channel. It helps my channel to grow so that I can do more videos like this for you. Also, I'm trying to get to my goal of a thousand subscribers, so help a girl out. Hit the bell notification if you want to know when I upload new videos and follow me on other social media platforms. It's at D on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Okay, let's dive into the video. Mojo's guest house is located in Prairie Runaway Bay, St. Anne, Jamaica. It is located approximately three minutes away from the Smokehouse Plantation restaurant. It is in an apartment complex and the security at the gate is pleasant and on point. The outside of the property is also beautiful and well maintained. When we walked in, we were greeted by a very clean, beautiful, tastefully decorated and furnished interior. When you walk in, there's a small passage to the living area and an immediate entryway to the kitchen on the right. The kitchen has everything you need from pots and pans, modern and clean appliances, plates, forks, cups, utensils, and a kettle and even coffee and tea. My only suggestion for an addition would be maybe a high-speed blender and a coffee maker. The living and the dining area was modern with colorful and well-maintained furnishings and a big TV with Netflix, YouTube, and all the apps that you would want. The internet was also very good and we had no issues there. There is also air conditioning in the living room, but if you prefer fresh air, then the screen door opens onto a beautiful patio, which also had very nice, tastefully selected furnishings. Mojo's is an environmentally friendly property, so they have installed a system that automatically turns off the air conditioning when the doors are open or it is detected that the room is not in use. Pretty cool if you ask me. Before we talk about the outdoor amenities, let's head back inside to the bedrooms. There are two bedrooms, a master suite with a king-sized bed, and a second bedroom that has a bathroom that serves as the guest bathroom. The master is really lovely and the mattress and pillows were very comfortable. The furnishings were also quite nice, modern and cute, but also functional and practical with charging stations installed on the end tables. My favorite room, however, is the master bathroom, which has the most beautiful soaking tub. Just a look at this, guys. There is also a standing rain shower and the washing sink was so beautiful and unique. They also provided a hair dryer which was installed on the wall and soft plush towels and washcloths. The second bedroom has two beds, one twin bed and a double bed. The furnishings here are also quaintly modern and there are windows where you can let air and light in if you choose to. Perfect for kids or more than one friend or family member. The bathroom that serves this room also has a rain shower and a really cute washing sink as well. The apartment also has a washing sink and a washer dryer for your laundry needs. 
As it relates to outside, it is well manicured and there are amenities such as a swimming pool, a pool table and a gym as well as a gazebo. The property is indeed beautiful both inside and out. The customer service I received from Joel and his property manager Abigail was also top tier. They were very helpful and responsive and I would definitely stay there again. I will leave a link to this property in the description box below in case you want to book. That's it for this review guys. If there is any detail that you wanted to find out about this Airbnb, then please feel free to ask in the comment box down below. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you want to know when I upload new videos. And of course, don't forget that I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so help a girl out. Also, follow me on social media. It's at Jacine D on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Cheers! Bye!